Merhabalar. İşte yeni hocamız. Welcome everyone to the first episode of the Gaziantep FK FIFA 23 Road to Glory. They Gaziantep are a team over in Turkey. 5.15 million transfer budget, which is pretty good. However, at this point, I've never done like a Road to Glory like this. I've only ever taken, you know, teams from really from multiple tiered systems. So I've never really done this whole like starting from in one league. I've done career modes where I've picked a you know kind of middle of the park team, but I've never really done this whole starting from the very bottom and then working our way up. But I feel like this is a good good team to do it with. I like their uniforms. Got an, a nice home and pretty cool away uniform board expectations aren't too high and the team actually looks pretty decent I mean we have Boris Markovic which some of you people might know if you're a Liverpool fan but other than that nothing too crazy I mean Maxim is our starting attacking midfielder but he's a little bit older so he could you know this could be like a little bit of a career renaissance make him truly great but we're starting off by selling Soylop for just under one and a half million to finance a youth academy scout four star five star going to Turkey for nine months have a four star three star going to Greece for nine months and a four star three star going to Albania now it's time for our, a league fixture today as we face off against Sivaspor lineup that we're going for is the same as it was to start the season here are the highlights Alexandru Maxim. Ran it well. This looks promising. The cross played over, and what to do defensively? And the referee doesn't hesitate. That is a spot kick. to open the scoring here and the penalty is converted Gradel has it can't miss surely it's in size Supporters want to see him have a go. And a goal! Gradel has it. And he could really get at the opposition. And able to get a body in the way. And it goes! Corner kick it'll be. Trying to deliver it accurately. And a goal here! deliver it with accuracy a quarter of an hour remaining here opportunity and there is the goal he's found the net so we did lose this game 8-2 we are definitely one of the worst teams in the league also doesn't help that Merkel is out with a torn hamstring for the next three months. In the cup, we beat... I'm not even going to try to pronounce that in the team's name 2-1. to one. But now it's time for the second leg. The lineup they're going for is a 5-2-3. Just experimenting with the squad a little bit. We have three good center backs, so I figured... Why not see if that's... Why not see if that'll work a little bit better, but... Just trying some things out. Hopefully it'll work. Here are the highlights. Ozdoev. Dianya. Borini now. He's in behind. And a goal just went. Dianya. Now with Feguli. Well, possession seeded. opportunity oh it's gone in just cutting off the supply and Tre 
trying to get forward. And a goal, it's in. Yeah. Antonacci. The inside route looks promising. Oh, the referee has given it. Penalty it is. a good counter-attack in the making but very alert defending opportunity it is well a goal to give them a chance and well, they still have designs on the win good pressure can they make something of this We did lose this game 4-2, which means we are out of the cup. But a little bit of good news, Papadopoulos is joining the team from the Youth Academy. He's a team player, central midfield, central midfielder working on it at least. Natural 5-star, five 5-star, five going to be amazing. Bubakar Traore joined the team from the Youth Academy. Ivorian Coast native, pretty good PC winger, nothing special else. And League, not, not good, but... We're only five points off of finishing in the top half. Well, six points, so that's actually pretty good. Savras Dimitriou is also joining the team from the Youth Academy. So is Martin Satin, Ali Yomaz, and Alexandros Dimitriou, Yardin Yildiz, Makaros Kaya, Demanios Papa, Dimitriou, the goalkeeper, Satin, a center back, Barami, right back. Papadopoulos, defensive midfielder, and Papa, center forward. And those players, a lot of them are going out on loan for two years because not great overall, need them to improve. Oh, and a lot of them are also going out on a one-year loan move. And we do have a little bit of an issue as the board has a performance meeting scheduled, but that's pretty standard at this point. Merkel leaving on a free to join University of Craiova. Eunice Sahin joining team from the Youth Academy. 69 overall right-footed left winger. Inverted winger is what I'm working on. He's quick. He's already got the dribbling. Just need to work on that shooting. Akin Yomaz is another one of those players who is kind of playing the same spot. Might play him out on the right to be a little bit more of a playmaking midfielder. Yasin Kaya, however, will be the starting goalkeeper for us next year. 82 to 94 overall. Well, potential. Development plan of sweeper keeper is perfect since he already has high diving reflexes. Literally the perfect youth academy goalkeeper. I could not think of a better combination of stats to have. Urkan Yilmaz switching to a center back but currently is a defensive midfielder. Natural 5 star, 5 star. Expect him to be great. Umar Kaya, a central midfielder. Should be some good young depth. Same goes for Haika, that right wing back position. And Alexandros Papadopoulos. Central midfielder from Greece, very, very good potential. Satine's going on a year-long loan move next year. We won manager of the month for the month of May, but we still only finished three points, well, three places from bottom. But we were, I mean, still kind of close to being in that mid-table mix. But yeah, first round of the cup got knocked out in. A couple of good players had some appearances. Maxime and Figueiredo tied the team in goals with 10 Maxime had the most assists with four. Got a couple of players leaving with contracts expiring. Nothing too crazy there. And Maxime is still our most valuable player at six million, despite his age. 16 draws, 16 losses, only nine wins. Not good. But we do just did just get a whole lot of young players, so the squad's probably going to look very very different next year. Or the same because I'll just loan out those young players focus on the year after this upcoming year so it's gonna be one of two things and you aren't gonna know unless you watch the next episode but I hope you guys did enjoy this episode and actually want to watch the next episode subscribe if you did and I hope to see you all in the next video